standing for the national anthem. Welcome to the college commencement ceremony for the engineering graduate class of December 2015. I'm Srinivas Palanki, and I'm the Dean of the College of Engineering. We are here to recognize and honor our graduates for successfully completing the program of study. Congra congratulations to each of you for achieving your goal. Will those, of, will those receiving a doctoral degree please stand and receive our applause? Please be seated. Would those receiving master's degrees please stand and receive our applause? Please be seated. Would those receiving bachelor's degrees please stand and receive our applause? Please be seated. We are also here to celebrate and thank all those who in some way help these graduates achieve their goals. Certainly that starts with the parents of the graduates. Would the parents of the graduates please stand and receive our applause? Please be seated. Would the spouses, children, grandparents, grandchildren, and other relatives of our graduates please stand and be recognized? Please be seated. Would the friends of our graduates please stand and be recognized? Please be seated. Thank you for the support you provided to our graduates. Please allow me to introduce those on stage. Please hold your applause until each group is introduced. As your name is called, please stand and remain standing until all of your group is introduced. Seated front row on my right and your left are Dr. Kenneth Evans, President of Lamar University, Dr. James Marquard, Provost and Vice President for Academic Affairs, Dr. Kevin Smith, Senior Associate Provost, Dr. William Hahn, Dean of the Graduate College, Dr. Kevin Dodson, Dean of the Rio Honors College, Mr. David Short, University Registrar. Please give the members of the Lamar University Leadership Group your applause. The College of Engineering leadership team includes the Associate Dean and five department chairs. Dr. Victor Zaloum, Associate Dean of Engineering. Dr. Thomas Ho, Chair of the Dan F. Smith Department of Chemical Engineering. Dr. Robert Yuan, Chair of the Department of Civil and Environmental Engineering. Dr. Harley Myler, Chair of the Philip M. Dreyer, Dreyer Department of Electrical Engineering. 
Dr. Brian Craig, Depart Chair of the Department of Industrial Engineering, and Dr. Singh Wei Chu, Chair of the Department of Mechanical Engineering. Please give the College of Engineering leadership your applause. <laughs> Representatives of the College of Engineering faculty are seated to my left and right. Please stand and receive our applause, the faculty. <laughs> Please be seated. I would also like to make a special uh, uh, welcome to Mrs. Cecilia Marquard. She's Provost Marquard's wife. Our vocalist is Ms. Deborah Greshner, instructor of music, and our conductor, Dr. Scott Depp, associate professor and director of bands, and members of the Lamar Brass Ensemble. Their music adds so much to this special occasion. The readers of the names of the graduates this morning are Sujay Mahale, doctoral student in industrial engineering, and Arabelle de Torres, uh, undergraduate student in chemical engineering. Yeah, please give a round of applause to these folks uh, who have worked so hard. I'd like to tell you a few facts about Lamar University. This information is for those of you who might be guests from out of town or out of the country. And local folks may hear something they didn't know about Lamar. Did you know that Lamar enrolled 14,966 students this fall, so slightly under 15,000. They come to Lamar, they came to Lamar to get a world-class education. A, the great majority of these students are from Southeast Texas, but several students came from abroad. In fact, 11 different countries are represented today. The total fall enrollment for the College of Engineering was 2,348 with 1,613 undergraduates, 666 masters, and 69 doctoral students. Today, we have 200 graduates. Out of these, there are, there are four Doctor of Engineering degree candidates, 169 master's degree candidates, and 27 bachelor's degree candidates. Now, a few words especially for our graduates. On behalf of the Lamar University administration, the College of Engineering leadership team, and faculty and staff of your academic department, congratulations on achieving this very significant milestone in your life. <coughs> Each of you has worked hard, made new friends, received guidance and support from family, Lamar faculty and staff, and friends. This ceremony has three purposes. The first and foremost is to formally celebrate your achievement. Second is to thank those who supported and helped you along the way. And the third is to begin the next phase of your life. You will set new goals and pursue them with the same or even higher levels of dedication. My wish for you is that you set the right goals. Set them high enough so that you must work both smart and hard to achieve them. And you will feel that happiness that comes from seeing your hard work and excellent preparation pay off. It has been said many times that success is at the intersection of hard work and preparation. You have been prepared and encouraged to pursue learning as a lifelong endeavor. Always seek new knowledge because the world is changing faster than ever before and the change will continue to accelerate. So your knowledge and skills will need continuous updating. Socrates said, and I quote, the unexamined life is not worth living. Continue to ask yourself, if I continue on my current path, will I arrive where I want to be? Is my goal still the one that I really want to pursue? If not, set a new goal and change course so that you can be successful. We will now have the certification of graduates. President Evans, please join me. Will, you conf will the candidates for doctor doctorate degrees please stand and remain standing? Will the candidates for all master's degrees please stand and remain standing? Will the candidates for all baccalaureate degrees please stand and remain standing? Thank you, Dean Polanki. I, actually, I have the, the best job of the morning. It's my opportunity to confer your degree. Congratulations to all of you on a, a path that you have journeyed on and successfully completed. So, officially, 
by the authority vested in me in Lamar University by the Board of Regents of Texas State University System. I confer upon you the degree for which you have been certified, admitting you to all the rights and privileges which throughout the world pertain to those degrees. Now, in keeping with the tradition symbolizing change, please move your tassel from the front right to the left. Graduates, my sincerest congratulations. Please be seated. It is now time to announce graduates' names and have them come forward to be recognized. We will begin with the doctoral degrees, then the various master's degrees, followed by the Bachelor of Science and Engineering degrees in the various departments. In a departure from previous years, we are going to have the order of the engineer ceremony at the end of this presentation. Dr. Marquard, please come forward to present our doctoral candidates. Dean Hahn, please join me, President Evans, and Registrar Short on the front stage. Thank you, Dean Polanke. <clears throat> I'm pleased to present the name of Yogesh Curley and his doctoral advisor, Dr. King Shu. Mr. Curley has been recommended by the Dean of Graduate Studies, Dr. Harn, and by the graduate faculty for the Doctor of Engineering, degree in Chemical Engineering. Mr. Curley and Dr. Shu, please come to the platform for the hooding ceremony. Congratulations, Dr. Curley. <clears throat> I'm pleased to present the name of Hamang Shrivastava and his doctoral advisor, Dr. Gleb Shalovsky. Mr. Shrivastava has been recommended by the Dean of Graduate Studies, Dr. Harn, and by the graduate faculty for the Doctor of Engineering degree in Electrical Engineering. Mr. Shrivastava and Dr. Shalovsky, please come to the platform for the hooding ceremony. Congratulations, Dr. Shrivastava. I'm pleased to present the name of Alam Demissi and his doctoral advisor, Dr. Weihang Zhu. Doc, Mr. Demissi has been recommended by the Dean of Graduate Studies, Dr. Harn, and by the graduate faculty for the Doctor of Engineering degree in Industrial Engineering. Please come to the platform. Congratulations, Dr. Demissi. I'm pleased to present the name of Ezra Wari and his doctoral advisor, Dr. Weihang Zhu. Mr. Wari has been <clears throat> recommended by the Dean of Graduate Studies, Dr. Harn, and by the graduate faculty for the Doctor of Engineering degree in Industrial Engineering. Congratulations. Dr. Ward. <clears throat> we will now proceed with the Masters of Engineering degrees, followed by the Bachelor of Science degrees in the various engineering disciplines in the order presented in your program. First, we have the students who are graduating with a Master of Engineering Science in Chemical Engineering. And the names are Mohammed Imdadul Haq, Kirti Sabineni, next we have those who are graduating with a Master of Engineering in Chemical Engineering. And the names are Farhan Ahmed. Okay. 
Meet Shaw. Kenneth David Bean. Sharon Sai Duvuru. Guled Ahmed Hersey. Thomas Osoro Mesoro. Imaduddin Abrar Mohammed. Venkat Ganesh Subramaniam. Srinivas Sundara. Next, we have those who's graduating the Master of Engineering, Chemical Engineering, and his name is Sai Ram Madhuredi. Sandeep Tomar. Next, we have the students who are graduating with a Master of Engineering in Civil Engineering. And the names are Maharshi Reddy Aikati, Yashoda Devi Boma Reddy, Jakesh Hirachan, Dharmesh Jha, Srinivas Kandepi, Vijay Karel, Shishir Manjunath, Prithvi Vulupala, Bhumit Wadhwani, next we have the students who will be graduating with a Master of Science in Environmental Engineering. And the name is Ashwin Harish Dambekori. <laughs> Shabnam Telwari. Next, we have a student who is graduating with a Master of Engineering Science in Electrical Engineering. And the name is Mahanush Yusufian. Next, we have a student who is graduating with a Master of Engineering in Electrical Engineering. Mahesh Kumar Achani. Raju Aryal. Kamalendu Bhatta. Prashant Reddy Bhiram. Shanmukha Sri Surya Teja Bodapati. Swaminathan Manakkal Chandrasekaran. Sandhya Dirisinala. Rajendra Prasad Adhipalli. Radheshyam Egala. Rudula Gade, Rishi Bharadwaj, Ashish Gadambe, Karthik Kaja, Sailendra Kumar Kancharla, Kancha Ram Khyaju. Hector Martinez. Venkata Krishna Nelapati.
Kalyan Mudem. Krishnakant Muparthi. Yashwant Krishna Panchangam. Lakshmi Prasanna Kumar Pujari. Banoj Putluri. Swapnil Samrit. Drushant Mahendra Kumar Patel. Next, we have those with graduating with a Master of Engineering Science and Electrical Engineering, and his name is Ashwin Victor Samuel. <laughs> Manthan Ashok Shah. Adekumbo Olajide Shosanya. Rastra Kumar Subedi. Yashwant Reddy Thalla. Sudhir Velagupudi. Sumant Mohan Yalavarti. Next, we have those who will be graduating with a Master of Engineering Science and Mechanical Engineering. <laughs> Chandan Nath. Navya Musunuri, Rajiv Srivastav Kondagari, next we have the students who will be graduating with a Master of Engineering in Industrial Engineering. Imhonike Akigbe. Yashwant Belde, Dikshit Reddy Dusani, Venkata Naresh Jonalagada, Manoj Kumar Kari, Venkat Reddy Kondeti. Hemant Kumar Krishnamurti. <laughs> Mahesh Thota. <laughs> Nishiket Reddy Tumala. <laughs> Hari Bhanu Prakash Tumala. <laughs> Raja Mahendra Reddy Vangala. Next, we have the students who will be graduating with a Master of Engineering Management. And the names are Jaya Bharat Reddy Kambam. <laughs> Mahesh Kumar Kandukuri. <laughs> Tejasvi Kilaru. Venkata Karthik Reddy Naredla. Ankit Kumar Harivadan Shah. Venkata Krishna Prasanna Tallam Raju. Next, we are the students who will be graduating with a degree in Master of Engineering in Mechanical Engineering. And the names are Irfan Ahmed, Savant Aniruddha Arun. Mohammad Al Rifay. <laughs> Bavo Emmanuel Aitsede. 
Victor Joseph. Vandana Kumari. Dhirendra Singh Praveen Singh Mahida. Garvit Dilesh Bhai Patel. Srivani Pidaparthi. Akhil Naduwalapil Chine. Rupesh Kumar Premchand Sonavne. Next, we have the Bachelor of Science in Chemical Engineering. We have Latrice Dina Gallo. Next, we have the Bachelor of Science in Civil Engineering. Murphy Arthur Mason. <laughs> Ramiro Angel Fonton Jr. Next, we have the Bachelor of Science in Electrical Engineering. Seth Allen Mitchell, cum laude. Larry Adramani Soraka. Bernard Hamilton Yet the Third, second degree in Bachelor of Science in Mathematics, Road Honors College graduate, and summa cum laude. Next, we have the Bachelor of Science in Industrial Technology. Demarcus Dontre Kane. Christine Lapointe Holt. Philip Alejandro Ibarra. Micah Latell Mitchell. Michael R. Trahan. Hunter Ryan White. Next, we have the Bachelor of Science in Mechanical Engineering. Ruben Hernandez. Carlos Felipe Ibarra Cardoso, summa cum laude. <laughs> Joseph Charles Love Lovingood, cum laude. <laughs> Kenneth Kung T. Nguyen. Torian Eugene Odeno. <laughs> Tyler Gregory Skates, cum laude.
In this part of our commencement activities, we celebrate the induction of our engineering graduates into the order of the engineer. I will provide a brief history of the order of engineer and describe the significance of the engineer's ring in the context of the responsibilities attached to our profession. Following the history, Dr. Evan Vucic will administer the oath, and I would like to I would like to ask that engineers among the faculty and audience join the graduates in accepting the obligation of the engineer. Graduates, the faculty and staff of the College of Engineering uh, join me in congratulating you on your achievements and thanking you for sharing the past four or five or more years uh, with us. You are the engineers of the 21st century. We are confident that you will be using the technical knowledge you have gained here at Lamar University to make our world a better place, and we will be taking pride in your accomplishments. You are now moving from the academic world where you have studied engineering to the challenging world of doing engineering. As you make this transition, you are about to take the engineer's oath and be inducted into the order of the engineer. The purpose of this ceremony is to call attention to the obligation of all engineers to use our technical education ethically in shaping the world around us. You have taken the first step. You have accepted the challenge of obtaining an engineering education. Now you are embarking on the second part of your journey, the practice of your profession, and you must pay heed to the obligation of the engineer if you are to fulfill the promise this day holds. The order of the engineer originated in 1926 when our engineering counterparts in Canada recognized the special obligation of engineers to one another, to the profession, and to the public they serve. Based on the model of our Canadian colleagues, the order of the engineer was established in the United States in 1970. Those of you who are joining the order of the engineer today have received a certificate and a steel ring to be worn on the little finger of your working hand. So if you're left-handed, you wear it on your left hand. If you're right-handed, on your right hand. And if ambidextrous like me, then, you know, both hands, right? <laughs> the history of the ring is associated with the construction of a bridge across the St. Lawrence River in Quebec in the early 1900s. On August 29, 1907, when the bridge was nearly finished, the southern cantilever span twisted and fell into the St. Lawrence River. 75 workmen were killed in Canada's worst bridge disaster. An inquiry established that the accident had been caused by faulty design and inadequate engineering supervision of the construction. Work was resumed. But on September 11, 1916, a new center span being hoisted into position fell into the river, killing 13 men. The bridge was finally completed in 1917 and officially opened August 22, 1919. That bridge is still in use today. Legend has it that one of the twisted iron pipes from the first bridge was sliced into rings and worn by engineers to remind them of their solemn responsibilities to the public we serve. After accepting the obligation of the engineer, you'll be presented with your own engineer's ring. You are to wear the engineer's ring on the small finger of the working hand so that it will remind you every time you sign a set of plans, contract documents, or design specifications of your obligation as an engineer. You must check and recheck your calculations before signing your name. Remember that the work of engineers has a profound effect on the health, safety, and welfare of the public you serve. The ring you receive is a symbol of the strength and continuity of our profession. The engineer's ring says all who see it. There is an engineer, a person with technical knowledge, and more importantly, a publicly award dedication to use that knowledge ethically, always keeping paramount the public health and safety. Each of you among the graduates, faculty, and audience who possess an engineering education and are willing to subscribe to the Engineering Code of Ethics is now invited to join the Order of the Engineer and accept the ring. Dr. Vujic will lead you in the recital of the obligation of the engineer. You must accept the obligation seriously and with pride in yourself, your college, and your profession. Please consider the words carefully, and remember always that our engineering knowledge carries with it the obligation to serve humanity with complete integrity and honesty. Dr. Vujic, please administer the engineer's oath to our candidates.
I would like that engineers among the faculty and audience join the graduates in accepting the obligation of the engineer. Would those students who signed up for the order of the engineer please stand and remain standing? Would all candidates for the doctoral degree in engineering please stand and remain standing? Would all candidates for the master's degrees in engineering please stand and remain standing? Would all candidates for the bachelor's degrees in engineering please stand and remain standing? Would all faculty members from the College of Engineering please stand and remain standing? Would all members of the audience who are practicing engineers please stand and remain standing? For those of you who are standing, I would like you to join me in reciting the obligation of an engineer. The obligation is pro projected on screens behind me and is also printed in your program. You will recite only the parts that are in bold along with me. I am an engineer. In my profession, I take deep pride. To it, I owe solemn obligations. Since the Stone Age, human progress has been spurred by the engineering genius. Engineers have made usable nature's vast resources of material, and energy for humanity's benefit. Engineers have vitalized and turned to practical use the principles of science and the means of technology. Were it not for the heritage of accumulated experience, my efforts would be feeble. As an engineer, I pledge to practice integrity and fair dealing, tolerance and respect, and to uphold devotion to the standards and the dignity of my profession. Conscious always that my skill carries with it the obligation to serve humanity by making the best use of Earth's precious wealth. As an engineer, I shall participate in none but honest enterprises. When needed, my skill and knowledge shall be given without reservation for the public good. In the performance of duty and in fidelity to my profession, I shall give the utmost. Please be seated. Those who have joined the order of the engineer, please place your ring on the little finger of your working hand. Thank you, Dr. Uji. New members of the order of the engineer, you will notice that the certificate that you just received has a place for a signature, but it is not signed. This is not a mistake or an oversight. In fact, my secretary brought it to me and said, please sign here, and I said, no. <laughs> you are to sign the certificate yourself, because ultimately, you are the only person who can and must assure that you adhere to the engineering code of ethics, thereby protecting the health, safety, and welfare of the public you serve, as well as the reputation and integrity of a profession. As we close, please consider these words from the Royal Bank letter. We in the developed countries live in the realm of the engineer. From the moment we turn on the water in the morning until we turn off the lights at night, we are surrounded by engineered structures, systems, products, and processes. They help to feed, shelter, clothe, transport, comfort, and entertain us, and allow us to communicate invisibly with one another no matter what we do for a living. Much of our own work is done with things made by engineers. The engineer himself, now remember this was 1930s, so there were no female engineers then, I guess, you know, so or herself, has faded into the landscape along with his all-pervasive output. We know the names of the sculptors and the architects whose works grace our big cities. But who knows who actually erected the buildings and bridges who cut the streets and installed the pipes and wires that make a city run? In any list of historical persons, engineers rank far below monarchs, politicians, and generals. The reason for this is simple. Engineers normally solve problems instead of creating them. And a problem solved is a problem out of mind. The fate of man now, more than ever, hangs in the balance, and engineers will play a crucial part in determining whether that fate will be blessed or cursed by the application of technology. Enormous problems still haunt the world, and many of those problems have been man-made. 
But any, if anyone can do something to solve them, it is the engineer who has been working to make life better for people since the dawn of history. It is a huge responsibility to be placed on a profession. But then engineers have always managed to do things that need to be done. On behalf of the Board of Governors of the Order of the Engineer, I welcome you to the engineering profession, and I wish you well in the exciting techni technical challenges before you. With the graduates of all degree levels and all departments, please stand. Please join me in congratulating the College of Engineering graduate class of December 2015 one more time. Please be seated. <coughs> Graduates, today you join more than 80,000 others throughout the world who are Lamar alumni. I would like to take this opportunity to recommend that you join with them by joining the Lamar University Alumni Association. Alumni membership provides continued involvement with the university, networking, and opportunities to help other students achieve what you have achieved. I encourage you to join this important arm of the university. Again, congratulations and thank you for sharing commencement with us. Best wishes to all of our graduates. Following the recessional, we will host a reception in front of the Montaigne Center under the large tent. All graduates and guests are invited to mingle with our faculty, enjoy refreshment, and maybe even pose for a picture or two. I hope to see you there. Please stand and join Ms. Ms. Greshner for Lamar's alma mater.
Thank you.